in order to test for the use case remember in here this is a contract right it's an interface we don't test them the entities is a blueprint as well so we're not we don't need to test this the places that have actual implementations in the domain layer would be the use cases right so we have to write tests for each use case right so we can go in here and create a use a test folder test right inside of the tests we can create a new um direct file now we have to follow um the same path for this why so that we can easily find our tests so if we're testing for create user we can go ahead and copy its path let me find that use case create user we can copy its path let's copy from the lib source we can remove the lib as well so dart file we can paste what we've copied create user test right so if our class was um create if our module was create user we simply add underscore test at the end of it right so that's how it goes that is the convention we want to start from the source not from the lib so we go and create that right so we have our file right so there's an easier way to do this right uh, you can install a package known as dart test let me see plugins we can see dart test this one all right so um you can simply just right click on your file and then say create new test file or something like that. create a new dart test file with the same path in mind so let's go ahead and test that i'm going to delete the source and then go ahead and say no i have to do that here new test file and we can say create user and it will follow the same path and create this for us so let's go ahead and delete this so now you have to understand why we're testing and what exactly we're doing in this so-called test all right so why are we testing oh my days i'm so sorry guys i forgot about this font is more let me make that 16. i think that's overkill but whatever right so what what are we testing and why right so in this case we're testing this use case right um this is so big all right so the reason why we actually want to test this is because we want to make sure that this this functionality will function the way we want it to it will carry out the assignment that we're giving to it as expected all right so each test should focus so the reason why we call these unit tests so currently what we're doing is called the unit test is because it focuses on a small section of your code a small piece of it right a unit so for example this class is a unit so when i say unit i'm referring to the class that contains whatever functionality we're testing all right so inside of this class we have functionalities these functionalities are the methods the functions all right so we're going to be testing the functions inside of a unit all right so inside of this class we have several if we had even more than one function we'd have to write tests each of the functions to make sure that each function carries out um the whatever we ask it to carry out we can test if it returns what we want it to return we can test if if it accept what we want it to accept we can test the process that it takes in order to do that all right so this will prevent any bugs all right it will basically catch almost almost every bug right um the only box you might encounter might be a sort of widget test um widget widget bugs flutter ui but bugs if you don't write unit tests um, if, if you don't write widget tests that is rather so basically the unit tests will be like a safety net for us right and for our um our code basically so telling it this is how i want you to function if it's not going to function like that in every case please throw an error for me now that i'm running the test right so 
Let's go ahead and do that. So inside of our create user test, what is the first thing we have to know? So first things first, when you're testing a unit, when I say unit, I mean a class. When you're testing a class, uh, we have to first of all ask three questions. The first question is, what does the class depend on? When you ask this question, we're basically saying, what does this class take in its constructors? Right, so if we're going to test this class, then we're basically going to be initializing this class. So class, we initialize class name, we initialize that class. But if it takes anything in the constructor, it depends on that thingy, right? It means that that class depends on that thing. And then the next question we have to ask is, how, sorry, how can we create a fake version of the dependency? So basically, for example, if our class is depending on an HTTP library, right, we don't want to use the real HTTP library. Why? Um, the reason for this is because we want that dependency, we want to be able to control that dependency, right? So for example, for example, let me give you an example. For example, with HTTP, we can do HTTP.get request, we can send a get request. Right, when we send that get request, right, what happens? This will go talk to the server, server gives it back a response, it saves that response and it brings it back to us. And now we're writing a test. We want to make sure that whenever we call the HTTP library that it returns something to us. Right, but we in order to know and make sure that it returns something to us, we have to call HTTP get in our test. But this is a test, right? So if we go ahead and use the raw HTTP library. That will actually make, it will want to make a true call to a server somewhere and then return you its response. Now we don't have control over that, we can't stop it. But when we create a fake version of the HTTP library, then we can then have control over what it returns, right? And we can also control who it talks to. We want to make sure it doesn't talk to any server, that it's only talking to us. Right, because we don't want to involve any real world dependencies. We don't want to invoke any real world, um, any real external services in our cases. Right? We don't want to do anything with the real implementations of these things because then we don't have control over them. And that's where the final question comes in. How do we control what our dependencies 